Good morning, quinto ano. How was your holiday? Was it fun? Did you sleep a lot? Okay, but let's back to our routine and today teacher has more activities. Tomorrow we are going to have a, uh, a meeting. We are going to talk. We are going to see each other. So it will be very fun. Okay, so first of all, teacher wants you to get your student's book. And we are going to tackle one activity I asked you to do on Friday. On Friday, no, I'm so sorry, on Thursday. So here it is, okay? On page 36, I'm sorry, let me open more. Page 36. On page 36, teacher asked you to complete this text using some of the words on page 35. Activity number 10. Not all the words, não eram todas as palavras, eram somente três delas. Ok? So let me tell you, uh, let me get a, a, a tool here that I can write for you and it's better. When I want, I never find. Ok, here it is. Ok, so pay attention here. Uh, is it time for you for your next dental? Some of you sent me a picture or a mail, uh, WhatsApp or email me, email me using here uh, the word floss because you saw dental. But actually here, the word is appointment. Tá? Então a palavrinha aqui é appointment. So is it time for your next dental appointment? It may be. This generation has a sweet tooth. Sweet tooth é significa que ah, gosta de comer muito doce, tá? Não é que o dente é docinho, não. A gente usa esse, essa expressão para falar que, tipo assim, é formiguinha, que igual a gente usa a expressão aqui, parece uma formiguinha. And it seems to prefer sugary snacks such as, aí aqui a palavrinha, a maioria de vocês que me mandaram, é candies, any cupcakes for something salty. If you combine a lot of sugar with poor brushing and no flossing, you may be the next one with a toothache, né? A questão de você é, comer muito doce e não escovar os dentes, não passar fio dental, né? Então você vai poder provavelmente ter dor de dente. The American Dental Association says that you should visit your dentist twice a year for checkup and cleaning. They also say you should use, ah, here is the mouth wash and that you should floss daily, né? O fio dental também. O mouth wash é aqueles líquido que você coloca e faz a pulseira e joga fora, né? Pra engolir, não. Improve your eating habits and following what the dentist is recommend is not that hard. Shall we brush up? Né? Nós deveríamos realmente né? brush our teeth. So these are the answers for page 36. Pay attention now. Teacher is stopping sharing with you right now. And what I want you to do now, teacher has an extra activity for you guys. And the extra activity we are going to talk about healthy habits and unhealthy habits. Very simple. I did an extra activity, uh, a worksheet, eu fiz uma folha para vocês, não coloquei em PDF, então vocês podem fazer lá mesmo, não precisa imprimir, tá? Quem, não, quem às vezes tem uma dificuldade para imprimir, não tem necessidade de imprimir. So let me share with you. Então, ó, a teacher tem two columns here. Healthy habits means the good habits. It's good for your, they are good for your body, for your... Uh, for your health, para sua saúde. So healthy habits. And unhealthy habits, they are not good. Okay? If you do a lot, they are not good. So teacher wrote here a lot of some activities, a lot of activities, a lot of some of, a lot of activities. And I want you to type with them in the correct places. Vocês vão escrever eles no lugar correto. Quem fizer imprimir vai pegar daqui, né? E escrever no lugar correto. Então, ó, eat fast food. Healthy habit or healthy habit? Aí você vai colocar no lugar correto. 
Quem fizer direto do computador só pode, pega a palavrinha, né? Pega a palavrinha, copia. Oh, sorry. You get you you select the the the, the activity. Mine is not good enough right now at this moment. Okay, so you select, you copy, and then you paste. Você vai colar e copiar no lugar correto. All right, guys. So healthy habits and unhealthy habits. These are all the activities teacher wrote, and you have just put them in the correct column. Very, very, very simple, okay? So don't forget, tomorrow we are going to have online uh, Encontro Marcado com a Teacher Emília, não com a Fátima Bernardes. Com a Teacher Emília vocês irão ter. Aí a teacher vai fazer a correção dessas atividades, dessas não, dessa da folha que eu acabei de passar para vocês. E aí tem mais atividades também que vai ser online, que a gente vai fazer juntos, tá bom? Aí é isso, alright? See you tomorrow, guys. Bye, bye!